What is going on, guys? My name is AJ, and we are here playing the dwarves. Uh, the dwarves, in case that didn't come across very well. My bad. Uh, anyways, I saw this game came out in the first, and um, I don't know. I've always played dwarves for Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Uh, yes, I'm a nerd. It is what it is. Uh, so I saw this, and I was like, I, I gotta try it. We gotta see what this is all about. Now, I have played the intro. It's really good. But... Uh, yeah, I want to bring you along for this journey. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but uh, hopefully I can keep the series going if you guys like it. So if you guys enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And uh, if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe. Sorry. Against orcs, ogres, and all the other beasts of Tion. We are the guardians of Gurgogai. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. Roll credits. <laughs> Sorry, I watch way too much cinema sins. That's what it is. <clears throat> By pressing and holding control and left click. Okay, so uh, I have to do this for every series that I try to start. It's starting to feel like I've done it before, but excuse me, guys, I am still sick. So uh, if I'm if I cough or something, it's my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, pause the game at any time by pressing space. Move camera using the middle mouse button. All pretty standard fanfare. Understood. Okay, click leap attack. Um. I did not hurt my guys. It's not the guy I clicked on, but okay. On the way. <coughs> Feels right. Come here, you. Die. All right. Um. On the way. Get over there, man. I had to knock people over. Did I fall over too? I think I did. And stay dead. And stay dead. Wait, am I blocking? Right. Is that what that is? Alright. Oh, this is no bueno, guys. No bueno. Uh, Q. And Q. And Q. And Q. Yeah, I, I've noticed. And Q. Oh, no, no. Hey, uh, fellow dwarves. From the workshop. Give them. Oh, I know exactly what these are, man. Understood. Ah, I'd be happy to pass on this present to the Greenskins. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, I just, that's the wrong button. That was the wrong button. I would like to get out of frame. R is the button that I want to take. It actually has the opposite effect because it blows everyone towards us. <clears throat> it seems counterintuitive to do it this way. But fine, whatever. Die, man, die. Try it. There we go. There we go. Uh, no. Uh, 
Come on, you. Come here, you. Well, that guy's gonna get mushed. My king! What are you doing here? Giselbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Tion for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. We are too few. This you know as well as he does. But there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. Vrakas. Okay, change between characters at the bottom left of the screen or by pressing tab. Select more than one at a time by pressing shift, left click, or by clicking and dragging a rectangle around them. Yes. Wow. Decided this is a stupid idea. What? Well, I, I understand how these things work. So I wish. Can I? Oh, I can't. can't. I was about to say I can't really see what's happening. And this guy's just standing. What are you? Are you good? What are you doing, brother? You're pretty dumb. Another one gone. Okay. Understood. All right. Come on, kill him. Fight, dude. There we go. All right, I know what I have to do. Let's do it. Okay. Knocked one of my own guys off the cliff. Did not know that's what that attack did. There we go. Why aren't you jumping? But no. Is it because I'm clicking on words? No. Okay, finally. Finally. Okay, where are you? Y'all need to get out of my way so I can go kill this. I 
I hit the wrong button. Oh no, they took it down anyways. All right, good. These are the ones who attacked us in the tunnels. We suffered great losses beating them back. Come here and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf. In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Citalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the Shadow Mare just grins down, mocking me. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the Elves. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us, but perhaps... One of your kind. This cannot be. Silence, you fool! Rakas, forgive me for what I am about to do. Quickly! In formation! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> Not to be a uh, negative Nancy what towards religion, but if you had, you know, Perhaps, you know, not tried to say anything at all. You probably would have been able to stop him. You don't need to ask forgiveness, just do it. And then, you know, worry about the forgiveness later. <clears throat> Come on, guys, we gotta hold him. We gotta know. I don't have any more. We gotta know. Hold no wind to fold no wind to walk away. Can't sing any more of that song, or else it will be a copyright strike. Got it. Good job, Dad. Push him back, push him back, shove him back, way back. Ooh. He could be okay. Technically, it's not through the heart. I am Sinferas, the Reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears, and let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Rakas. No. Your soul now belongs to the land. And henceforth you will belong to it forever. Ooh, sorry. Now die. And return. Then hand us Girdle Guard. Oh, that, that one's probably gonna do it. Thousand and thirty five cycles later. You're a perfectionist, Bolivar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metal work of a dwarf, what can you rely on? What can I do for you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. In your mind, you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. Apart from a few little squabbles with his family, nothing worth mentioning happened since the incident with your beard. You nod. Okay. You look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic, reprimanding scowl. Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were teething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Father smiles. She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago. 
I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the Dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Father's death already burdens your heart. You better not keep the Magus waiting. See you later. There's goulash for dinner. Ooh, goulash. There was a time when you could hardly lift the heavy hammer. Now you barely notice it anymore, and it feels like... This Oops. is where you swung Water. the forge hammer for the first... Too much exposition. Oh, you take the axe. I love that they spelled that out. All right, what we got? I'm used to being able to drag with left click. <clears throat> oh gosh. Everything you know about dwarves, you. It... Okay, horse figurine. What is that? You've worked a bit more on Sunya's birthday present last night. The little one is crazy about horses. You, on the other hand, prefer to keep your distance unless you're fitting them with hooves. Too many legs and way too big. Oh yeah, it's typical dwarf stuff. Don't like horses. Horses. Probably like horses. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. It's a priest. There are apparently right. dwarves who have never seen the sky. And you too feel more comfortable when you have rock over your head. If only you didn't long to see more of the world, a longing that grows stronger with every year. Every year. Okay. Let's see what we got. Hey, groundling. Come to the kitchen, we need you. Jolison, a fourth degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic, gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. I need my, my life narrated. Tundale, quick, or the goulash will get burnt. You immediately recognize what the problem is. A chain running over a pulley for positioning the cauldron is detached from its mounting and the cauldron stuck in the fireplace. It's a heavy load, and none of the famuli, who feel superior even during kitchen duty, dare do anything. They might burn their fingers, or even get a bit dirty. That's fair. It'll be a waste of goulash. And I'm hungry. Here, hold this. Hey. Do you remember when you dyed my beard with some magic spell? I had to shave it off. You stroke your beard, which is unusually short for a dwarf. Damn it! Ah, oh, it's heavy! The young human forces through his pursed lips, letting the pot sink a little. Don't you dare ruin my goulash, boy! The cook with beefy forearms glares at the young man, and after a <laughs> brief moment, he tries harder. With as much concern in your voice as you can muster, you say, Oh, no, no, this doesn't look good. You're pleased to notice he's dripping with sweat. <laughs> I'll get I love you it. back for this, groundling! I love how you do it with you one hand. Freak. For a moment, you hope the Famulus really does raise his hand to you. But then he comes to his senses and leaves the kitchen, his face bright red. What a pair you are! Where'd the, the lady go? Oh, there she is. The goulash is bubbling in the cauldron. You draw the warm air in through your nose, and the smell makes your mouth start watering. Vegetables, bread, cheese, but the cook is not to be tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many painful. Do you know what Lord Yona wants? The maid gives you an amused look. She. Okay, I get it. Beer, got it. Alright, let's go find the boss, man. I know there's some stuff over here that 
doesn't really matter. I can pillage uh, or pilfer some food. But let's just go meet. <clears throat> this is about as far as I got. I decided that this game was good and I wanted to see more of it. I wanted to do a little less play of it. So, we'll make it a game. We'll make it a video. And I'm getting like 300 frames for this thing. It's amazing. Master Lot Yonan, Frala told me you wished to speak with me. Ah, Tungil, come in. Uh, there is a bag over there in the cupboard. Take it out, please. It contains artifacts belonging to my former Famulus Goren. I wish to return them to him. He's in Black Saddle, 300 miles away. 300 miles? That's a long journey. Who are you going to entrust with this? I was thinking of you. Me? There is no one better to take on this journey. You have acquired much knowledge. You are almost a scholar. You know more than most family about Girdlegard and its inhabitants. It is time for you to go out into the world and see it with your own eyes. I... with pleasure. Hm? What's in the bag? Magical devices. Uh, you better leave the bag closed if you want to avoid any accidents. Dwarves don't really like magic, and magic doesn't like you either. Rakus gave us so much craftsmanship that there's no space left in our bodies for magic. Strictly <laughs> speaking, every time you've been too close to magic, it has ended in catastrophe. Perhaps I'll meet some dwarves on my travels. Yes, perhaps. But don't hold out too much hope. And be careful who you talk to. Not everyone out there likes dwarves. Yeah, goblins. They abduct baby dwarves and sell them to Magi, from what I've heard. Hmm? Not the best bit of business I've ever done. But what was I to do? The long noses threatened to throw you into the nearest river. Be on your guard. Look after the bag and don't lose it. May Palandiel be with you. And Varakas too, of course. I'll set off immediately. I'll see you soon, Bob Yoda. I like the art style of this game too. Not really a huge fan of our main dwarven protagonist. But uh he looks cool. It will be better to leave Lot Yonan to his work for now. Okay, alright, fine. <clears throat> okay, so I notice I've got about two days worth of food. That's what that looks like. I got 210 gold. Uh, what should I take? Is there anything else? Ant tab? No. That's uh, that's pretty standard for showing stuff up on the map. Tab and Z, but that don't seem to be working. So I'm gonna talk to uh, Girly McGurly Pants. Cause I don't remember her name. Sorry, I'm being a jerk. Can you believe it? Hello, Frala. Mm -hmm. I've got a present for you. I you do? You take out a symbol of protection that you've carefully made from three horseshoe nails. It's not the finest jewelry in Girdlegard. One look at Frala's face makes it clear that it doesn't matter. She glows with happiness as she takes the pendant. For me? But why? Because you don't see me as an oddity, and you're like a little sister to me. You could have said. But you settle with a shrug and a crooked smile. I need provisions for 300 miles. You're grinning from ear to <coughs> ear. Finally, you've got the chance to see something of the world. 300? Tungdil, that's no errand. That's an epic journey. Wait, I've got just the right thing. But make sure the cook doesn't see. I'm going to Black Saddle to return a few things to a former apprentice in Amagus. You pocket the rye bread, sausages, and ham. Enough food for the first few days of your journey. Perhaps I'll even meet some dwarves on the way. Frala throws you a cautious glance. It's a tricky subject that you can't help but broach. There aren't dwarves down here. You're the only one in Idda's Lane, as far as we know. I know, but I can't just have been born out of a rock. Somewhere in the mountains, I have a clan. Maybe even a family. Yes. Maybe. 
Frala has reminded you more than once that Lot Yeoman wrote to the Dwarf clans and none of them were missing a Dwarf boy. I have to go. I've got a long journey ahead of me. I wish you the blessing of Palandiel and Vrakas to protect you from all danger on your journey. Here, a talisman. Whenever you look at it, think of me. Frala winks at you mischievously. And of getting me a nice present. Hmm? I made you something, man. What are you... She's already demanding stuff of me. Come on now. Can I take some goulash? See, I got 17 days the worth of goulash now. is bubbling in the cold. Ugh. Okay. I can't pick any up. Well, in that case, I'm definitely swiping some provisions over here. Can I? The blacksmith. Do you want something? Did a horse bolt while you were trying to shoe it? It's certainly not on our plates. Oh. Oh. 25 XP earned. Ooh, now I've got 19 days worth of food. Took enough food for two days. I don't care about you guys. You guys suck. Uh, this is his stuff. Look at the bookcase. Lot Yeoman didn't just take. Oh, more exposition. I got it. All right. Um, I have my axe. You have my bow and my axe. Okay. Um. Anyways. Where are we going? Hello, sir. Gregor Sansa. Wolf one. No. No, 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 no. I'm getting too weird. It's getting late where I am. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I hit my mic. Um, getting late where I am. And uh, I'm starting to get a little tired. That's okay, though. How Whoa. nice to see you again, Lot Yogan. It must have been an age since we last met face to face. Nudin, welcome. Please, sit down. No, thank you, my friend. These are urgent matters, and I don't have much time. You must come to Leos Nudin immediately. The perished land is stirring. Are you sure? What makes you think that? I found out about 60 orbits ago, during a visit to the borders. Our magical barriers have weakened, and become porous. The Elfa have left their land, and a huge horde of orcs have marched into Girdelgard. Were you able to strengthen the spell with your magic? No. I can't repair the damage alone. We need the combined power of the Six. The other four are already on their way here, but we need your help, too. I will set off for Peristo without delay. Oh, and um, as you're coming, could you also take the opportunity to bring back the things that I lent to you? Of course. I have them already packed in a bag. <laughs> oh, thank you. We'll be expecting you. Is that what I took? Oh, so many questions. No answers. Ooh, approaching the 30 minute mark on this video. Might just call it a clip. Utterly blinded by the sunlight, Ooh. you squeeze your eyes tightly shut after only a few steps. The time spent underground has made you so sensitive to light that you're forced to seek shelter in the shade of a mighty oak. Okay, all right. We're gonna save it. We're gonna call it a video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe. I plan on doing a little bit more of this uh, game, so uh, every like kind of gives me an idea uh, that you guys want to see more. Uh, so yeah, feel free. Let me know. Um, but yeah, come back. I should have another one up as soon as I can. Uh, but anyways, guys, until then, I will see you later.